here for some time now and I saw that made the best has them online now they um, came up with one made specially for the or tour size um, these portable lasers and originally I was going to actually make one buy some grid and make a frame for it but this one turned out to be really much nicer uh, you can see it's a nice honeycomb it's very, it's about three quarters of an inch thick. And let's get these plastic corners. It's got some corner protectors on it. But, you know, it's, it's really one of those things that you need for laser cutting when you're doing a lot of cutting. And I see people doing all different types of screens and stuff under, but many of them are not perfectly flat where this looks like it's gonna be good. And you can kind of, See, these are, I use waste boards under them and they get burned under them pretty bad and they actually put a lot of, a lot more black marks on the back of the cuts. And they also um, hold the smoke in and cause the air assist to try to lift up the part. So this uh, should be nice. Um, uh, can't wait to try it out here. Build an enclosure for it, but figured I'd, thought I'd set this under there. And let's see, there's a far edge of the laser. And it's just about an inch short of doing the full laser in that direction. And let's see. And this direction is just about perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make all my lasers except this. I'm going to, well actually I just got some plastic corner blocks here that I'm playing with, but I'm going to put some corner blocks in there to keep it from moving around and just make it so I can pick it up and switch it from laser to laser. And um, you know, that way, that'll be a big money saving so I don't have to buy three of these. And I, I never do three cuts at the same time, so whichever one is doing the cuts will get it. Here and check out this Ortor enclosure. And I actually had a piece of aluminum put down here with double sided tape to use temporarily. Let's see. And again, this actually just fits perfect in there and this is the LM2 gonna have to make some little pieces to to drop it into to locate it but you can see that's gonna that's gonna fit in there perfect then let's go over to the um, LM2 Pro check that one out I'm gonna have to pick that laser up some You can see it does have actually strengthening ribs in it. And these things are, you know, they're fairly expensive, but there's a lot of work involved in putting one of these together in all the aluminum framing and stuff. Um, and it's really rigid and well-made. So I'm just gonna sneak it in here. And you can see it's really close on these screws, so you're gonna have to keep it centered, but um, basically looks like it's gonna work good in there too. Let's I get that set up. So let's just give it a try and see how it's gonna work out. I'll take birch plywood out here and I know lead's not a good thing to use, but just some lead weights I've had sitting around, they really do help to um, keep this stuff from bowing up because this thin stuff does bow up. So let's do a frame and make sure I got it pretty close to where it goes. So that looks good. Um, and let's turn on the blower on three and let's get started on this 
and just see how this actually works out here. I need of those name tag that I make for my wife, the little ones for the critter she makes. I'll have to show you the new one she's made. She's uh, gave a bunch of the first ones away and now uh, she's working on a batch for Christmas presents for um, unfortunate kids that uh, go to a Christmas party at our local library. And you can see if you're just going to be doing engraving like this, you really don't need this. Um, you know, there's no reason all the smoke will stay on the top. But what I'm finding with the the air assist, which I actually forgot to turn on, that um, it can lift the, the board, the piece of that you're working on off the uh, flat surface also. So, and it looks like it'll be a good solution. And, um, you know, I think made the best for coming up with something like this because uh, you can buy the stock on Amazon, but it just costs almost as much as this whole thing assembled costs. So let's see how it works. So here you can see the engravings almost all done on this. And this, this uh, Ortorley LM2 Pro has really been a workhorse. Oh, look at how nice that cut. Wow, no burning or, that's, these are much better running with this. But this Artur has really been a workhorse, and I actually understand that uh, Artur may be coming out with a 10 watt version someday in the future to catch up with all the other companies. But I do, uh, you know, I do get a lot of use out of this, and I can put some some links to this, and um, I'll put a link that's an affiliate link to this laser grid also. This is the technology that's always been used in CO2 lasers with a down vent and that's what I'm gonna you know use it for in my next enclosure that I build. Well that's gonna give me a really nice cut. I'm not seeing a burning that I used to see on them. Let's see how this first cut here looks. Still a little bit dark because I'm doing it all at one cut. I could do two passes and lighten that up too. But oh, it's much better than before. And you don't have that smoke pushing it up anymore. Let's open this up and let you see. Oh, that's a much better, cleaner cut. So this thing definitely does make a difference. I can tell you that. It's kind of hard to tell that they're even cutting all the way through because you don't get all that uh, smoke popping back up and um, Kind of just all just going down and disappearing. This thing's great Ooh, What a nice clean cut we're getting You can see this file is one of the ones I have in light burn. That's why I'm really hoping that that D1 switches over to light burn someday so I can, uh, you know, try all my old files on it easily without redoing them. But having the ability to, to set multiple layers on a drawing is really necessary most of the time. So we're just finishing up the last heart here. Look like they've uh, really come out with a lot less burning around the cuts. It's uh, pretty amazing. So we'll get to see in about a second. Well, I tell you what, I love these little lasers. They sure make a lot of jobs easier. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh my God, look at the backside, no burning at all. I just have to pop out that little hole. Wow, what a difference. Look at that. You see, that's all burned up. I'm gonna say that this thing is a winner. You know, definitely something that's a good accessory to have if you uh, 
had one of these lasers and the lights act the cuts the cuts actually came out a lot lighter looking they don't look quite so burned so you know that's it um i'm gonna say it's actually a nice thing to have if you have one of these lasers and i'll put a link to made the best from what i'm hearing made the best really is uh delivering on time and everything and they're coming up with some great new products now so i'm gonna um you know recommend that you pick it up from them just a grip this is the one that i just cut and this is what happened to the old one see how they were all burned burned heavily and see how that eliminated the backside burn so i can't wait to try this on my uh, jigsaw puzzles i'm trying to work out now but yeah it's definitely um definitely a good thing I just thought I'd show you some of the animals that she's been working on over the last couple of months. These are all going away to uh, kids for Christmas presents. So and I think it's great what she's doing here. And she just works on them whenever she gets a spare minute. But I just wanted to show you, these are, the, um, these are the original ones and that's that. And when you flip them over, I don't know if you can see the difference kind of hard to let me turn the light down a little bit the burn on the back there's none there and that looks burned so it definitely did make a huge difference to it I mean the, the lettering it doesn't change but just the cut and the burning on the back so let's see let's just take the camera down off the tripod and take a good look at these guys I think they're pretty amazing. Kind of hard to believe all the time and love she puts into these little animals, but you know, that's what she likes doing. And uh, just look at the intricacy in each of them, and they all have one of those little tags on them when they go out. So this batch will be going out for Christmas presents pretty soon. And I just thought I'd share this and, you know, give you an idea of some of the things that, um, some of the crafts that my wife likes doing also and just look at the clothes on them they're, they're just amazing they're all crocheted and they all work um all the buttons work and things open up and you can take them on and off and it's just uh just amazing the uh, little intricate crocheting that she does here so i just thought i'd share this and uh you know back to that laser grid it really is something that's uh you know does help out give you a better cut and it's really worth investing in I think if you're gonna you know make any little parts like this that you want to come out nice and clean looking thanks for watching please subscribe